we are currently underneath what is known as a La Nina. So trade winds off of the southwest and then ocean water over near South America. Well, it's currently uh, slightly below where it should be at or below normal. So with that in mind, with the La Nina expected to last all the way through the remainder of the year into our winter, the Clemmer Prediction Center has made their forecast for our upcoming winter. Now, this includes December, January, and February, and because of a La Nina, we typically see more of a meridional flow. So instead of a west to east zonal flow, we see our jet stream typically go more north to south or from south to north. Now with that in mind, we do see some big swings when it comes to temperatures. That's typically when we have the really, really cold days, but also those really, really warm and pleasant days. So kind of the combination of the two, well, will equal out to pretty much where we should be at for this t for our winter. So right now, the Climate Prediction Center has us underneath they jack pretty much near normal. But when it comes to precipitation, this is where things start to jump just a little bit. Because we see more of that jet stream uh, abnormal or abnormalities or that more meridional flow, that's typically when we get more precipitation events. And because it is winter, well, we typically see a wide range of precipitation from rain, freezing rain, sleet, and of course, finally, we do have snowfall. So while yes, we are proud to be above normal in precipitation, that does not mean that we are favored to get more snow. Rather, we are going to get more precipitation events and sometimes in the case of snow.